Hi guys, in this video I'm going, I want to go over the gear that I was wearing and do sort of a crash test review of the gear that I was wearing when I went down the other day. And uh, but before I go into all of that, I want to give you a quick update on how I'm doing. Uh, I've got um, two fractures in my big toe here. And you can't tell, I'm just wearing a sock over whatever they wrap me up and my sprain is healing well um the, i used a crutch for the first couple days but i'm off the crutch now i'm walking around a bit with a bit of a limp i can't wear normal shoes just yet so no riding for me uh just yet but um i also wanted to say thank you to everyone who came over to my channel and uh gave me some more support thank you for all the words of encouragement and uh for subscribing and Thank you, Kansai Writer, for that shout-out. Everybody who came over from there, you guys are awesome. What a great community. I'm so thankful to be part of um, such a supportive group. Anyways, uh, here's a quick look at my rev uh, um, the gear that I was wearing. Thankfully, I was wearing everything, um, and it held up pretty well. It was not a high-speed crash. It was sort of a lower-speed crash. I think I was going about... Uh, you could see the check the speedometer on when I crashed, but um, I think it was going around 50 kilometers per hour. And I was slowing down, so when I actually hit the ground, I might not have been going 50 even. So it really wasn't that high, but I did high side, so the bike did dump me onto the road. And you saw in the video and in my analysis, I mentioned how my foot got caught under the um, bike. I think that's what it was, and it was my right foot. So let's take a look at the boot and see how that um, fared. So right here, I don't know if you can tell because of the light I'm holding, but right here, there's quite a big scuff um, right here. But aside from that, no, like, terrible scratches or anything like that. Now the, I think I did a, a work boot versus riding boot kind of comparison and I showed how you know like if you do normal pressure it doesn't but if you really put your weight on it this boot will bend like that and I think that that's where it's sprained but if I hadn't been wearing this my foot would be a really bad mess I'd probably have torn ligaments would need surgery have a um, you know completely crushed foot I think the, the impact uh, would have been a lot worse so these are these are very sturdy I mean they're quite sturdy but you know they are also a bit flexible too so they're not the hardest and most sturdy boots they're sort of a compromise a nice in between but um, the boots itself is still really good it's still intact I, I'll, I'll still keep using this for sure um, in the future I might get something a bit more sturdy now that I've gone through a crash with it and know that that it can it can cause a sprain and still fracture my toe okay uh, I don't let's go on to the gloves that I was wearing these are RAS Tai Chi winter gloves um, I don't know the exact model number I'll try probably just put it in a text here I think they have uh, these are leather palms and you saw me how I went I did the Superman thing and touched down on on the road how I was caressing the road <laughs> But um, there you go. There's a bit of wear on this palm, the right palm here. A bit of road rash. And something that I was kind of surprised. Well, I don't know if I should be surprised, but look. Uh, can you see that? How it busted at the seam there. And you can see the waterproof lining underneath. Um, let's see. If, um, this, I have been, I, I ride almost every day. And this is my second sea winter season wearing these. In the summer, I have another pair, like a mesh pair that I wear. Uh, so maybe I shouldn't be so surprised that it busted at the theme just because of that much use and, you know, I guess getting wet in the rain and then sometimes throwing it in the wash. The seams might get weaker, but I mean, it did its job. It held up. But then again, I wasn't going at such high speeds, so I wonder... At high speeds would it have held up enough and um, interesting uh, the knuckles here are quite scuffed too you can see it wore through the leather right there to the plastic carbon here is scuffed 
pinky here is scuffed. So what I think happened is like I went down hands first and then boom, I must have rolled over. Actually, I don't know how many times I rolled over. That's not on the camera, but I believe I rolled over. I was sort of stunned when I got up. Anyways, no, nothing tore straight through to the skin. My hands are fine. I didn't break or fracture or sprain my hands or wrists, which I'm very thankful for. Here's my left hand. Again, also, I noticed, you know, it did, like I went down palms first, but also the knuckles took quite a beating too. That went right through the leather there. Uh, the fingertips here. So how does that, you know, figure? I went down palms first. You saw that in the video, but then I think I was, my hands were going over like that. Like I think at one frame I was like, whew, doing some uh, serious yoga with my hands. Fingertips are um, obviously scuffed up. And where is it? Here in the thumb too. This, you can see the waterproof lining in there as well. Busted a hole right through there. So um, I don't know how that happened or where that snagged. Uh, let's see, palms here also. This leather portion held up well. Um, road rash a bit, but nothing, you know, my hands were good. my hands were protected, so the gloves did their job. Um, I'll probably try to be getting a new pair of gloves soon. Okay, moving over to the helmet. Uh, I mentioned this when you know in the crash video I showed you, but I want to give you a better look at this. These are eight. This is an HJC helmet. Um, I'll include the exact model number here in text. But uh, take a look at this scuff right here. This is quite the... Okay, so let's take a look at the, the helmet again. Right there, that's like a very big gouge. And this shows you the importance of wearing a full face helmet. Um, you know, what good is your brain? I mean, you know, it's great if your brain is protected. But if you don't have a jaw, you know, you're not going to have too many girls wanting to kiss you. Well, I don't know. It's sort of a broad statement there, but that's just my thoughts. Um, here, the right here, all over this part of the the shield is just really scratched up right here, and the um, I don't know whatever the joint piece for the the shield, the visor just snapped off completely. So. I had to ride home uh, without a visor, wind in my eyes, freezing cold wind for three hours. And so I didn't take the highway, I took low roads. Uh, but yeah, helmet did its job. I'm really thankful for this helmet. I did not experience any bruising. I, I was like touching my head and on my right side, right around here, I was like really pushing my head, forehead and like, oh yeah, there is a bit of a, a sore spot there. But aside from that, um, really there's, there was no like shock. I, I, I wasn't knocked out. Um, I just a little dazed initially, but um, yeah, I, this helmet did its job. It's a real budget helmet. It's I think I bought it for uh, 12,000 yen, about maybe 110 or 120 bucks. Uh, the foam, and it's sort of big and, you know, a little bit heavy, but uh, the foam is quite sufficient. And you can tear out all, all these, all the, the lining and, and wash it. There's a chin flap to it. There's a, there's a breath guard that you can um, take off as well, this part here. And, um, yep. This helmet's got to go. I'm going to be getting a new helmet. I don't know what it is, what it's going to be, but um, yeah, got to get a new helmet. Once once you crash with a helmet, it's, well, of course, this part's gone. But once you crash with a helmet, it, it won't give you the proper uh, protection that you need. So, yeah. All right, moving right along. Let's go check out the jacket. Now this is a what kind of jacket? It's a Motorhead jacket. Uh, it's one of the brands that the bike shops here in Japan carry. Um, actually, I think it's like you know, one of their. Well, I don't know if it's Nidinkan or one of or one of the brand Japanese brands. They they put out this kind of budget leather jacket, and of course it's not made in Japan. I think it's made in Thailand or somewhere. It's buffalo leather. And um, so it's quite heavy, stiff, 
sturdy. It's just got your regular, nothing fancy. It's not like uh, D3O or, you know, fancy hard stuff. It's just, I mean, uh, armor in here. It's just regular soft armor in here. But the leather was is very tough and heavy. So you can see a bit of road rash here on this elbow, a bit of road rash here um, on my chest, and a little bit here, and on my right hand side, my right shoulder, the front here. Let's see if I can get this light a little bit closer. Challenge with shooting indoors at night. Um, yeah, there, there and a bit on my elbow and the back here but um aside from that on the back really no scuffing so i must have like landed harder face first uh with this jacket but i'm really glad i do um i didn't have any problems with this jacket, it did its job. My elbow was just a tiny bit sore, and I had a sore, sort of bruised rib around this area. Uh, but it's getting better now. It's not a fracture. At least that's what the doctor says. And um, yeah, this jacket is not bad. It, it's it got a little scu few scuffs on it, but um, I'll probably maybe put proper D3O. <laughs> armor in there or something. I'll keep wearing this jacket. Uh, a little bit of character added to a good black leather jacket's not okay. I mean, you know, it's a budget jacket. It's not Dionysia or anything fancy like that. Still usable, still did its job. So thank you, Motorhead. And thank you, HJC, for protecting my brain and my face. Yeah, no bruising on my face, on my head. Didn't have headaches the following day or anything like that. Okay, um, these are my Komine riding pants. These are winter riding pants. Uh, pretty durable nylon textile pants here. They've got hard knee pads in here, and this didn't go all the way down to the knee pads. This is actually just, oh, actually there's a few bits right there you can see, but this is just the inner lining here. And then on this side as well. Uh, they've got hard knee pads and then they've got soft, soft hip pads here and here. And since they're winter, they have a winter lining, kind of like this warmer lining that you can zip in and out of. Um, but I'm really happy with these. I commute in these. I kind of wear them. They're kind of big, but they go over my whatever, you know, like work, like suit pants that I'm wearing at the time. Yeah, when I go into work. No scuffing on the back, just a bit on the knees. They did their job. My knees are not sore at all. My hips are not sore at all. Maybe it's just the way I landed. But um, these did a pretty good job. I think I will still keep riding in these as well. I, I'm going to have to fix. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll patch those up or something. I'm a budget guy. You know, I'm, I'm frugal. Anyways, um, thank you, Komine, for protecting my lower body well that's a quick look at my gear that i was wearing again i i think um i got really lucky and somebody must have been looking out for me i did not i could have been a whole lot worse um the only thing i have uh, i'm healing here is from a sprained right foot and um, fractured toe Doctor says six weeks to full recovery. I think I can only take about one um, or two more weeks of not riding. And if I can get my bike back together and my and some new gear, I'll be out there making some videos. Uh, of course, in a safe manner and a bit more wiser. And I think I'll be um, a more experienced rider, you know? now that I've experienced a crash. Well, that's it, guys. That's um, that's a quick look at my gear and how it held up in a, you know, low-speed crash, I guess. 
Um, let me know what you think in the comments if you have any of this similar gear or what you've experienced um, when you went down and what gear you think would be good or where uh, I should, uh, what kind of helmet I should get. Uh, if you have any suggestions, I'm looking for something that's, uh, you know, mid-range, maybe around 200 to $300 mark, 20 to 30,000 yen. I'm kind of considering Icon, uh, but let me know if you have any suggestions for a helmet and gloves. Um, love hearing from you guys. The best thing, uh, the, mo the thing I enjoy the most about making these videos is, is the comments and, and uh, getting a conversation going with you guys. Uh, thanks again for, for all the love, for the support, for the encouragement, and, and for watching the video. Uh, see you next time.